Bless up Electroculture family. I want to go over the CW1 paramagnetic electroculture antenna, the pulling down heavens antenna. This is the first antenna we designed and it's the premier antenna if you want to mount these um, on an aerial mounted pole um, above 20 feet. So let's go over the components of this antenna. The top is a wire array or array of 33 spears and this is the atmospheric electricity component of these antennas. Um, it utilizes the surface area of the wires to collect the cations or positive ions from the wind as it blows through the wires. So surface area is our friend in this component. And these are cut to one half sacred cubic length. As we move down to the brass rod, this is the telluric collection rod. It's the terrestrial energy. It's the energy coming from the earth and around the earth, much like the electromagnetic field around the heart. Um, this is the rod that is aligned to magnetic south and it is pure brass. Behind that rod you have the voltaic stack. This is utilizing voltage created by electrochemical exchange, in this case zinc and copper. And when these metals make contact, and especially when they're wet with rainwater which uh, contains electrolytes, they exchange ions and create voltage. Behind that we have the magnets which are in phase with the telluric current, meaning the southern part of the magnet is facing south. The core of the antenna is core filled with paramagnetic basalt. This is highly paramagnetic rock powder that is very, very packed into the core of this um, copper body. Coming out of the bottom, you have the eight gauge or eight aug lead wire. This is a copper wire and this is where you'll attach to your ground wire with the brass coupler that comes already installed on the lead wire. And back to the basalt right quickly. Um, the basalt basically turns this antenna into an aerial mounted basalt tower. So if you know about those, you're aware of the benefit as well. Um, over here is a thermocouple, the smaller rod on the antenna. And this is voltage generated by the heating and cooling of dissimilar metals. And you can find these utilized in very commonplace technologies across the board. Um, the body of the antenna is a three quarter inch by one half cubit copper body. And that pretty much sums up the components of the antenna. Here's two of them right here. And we call these pulling down heavens because they, they really express the fullness of heaven and earth energy and the energy and voltage that's created when those are combined.